Hey everybody, it's your girl Mrs. Garcia coming back with another video. To all my new watchers, hello and welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification down below. Let's give this video a full watch and a thumbs up. Today I am going to be sharing a recipe from the Pioneer Woman. Once I've seen this, you know I had to try it. Pasta is one of my favorite things. She called this recipe taco shells with the cheese. So I'm gonna show you everything I put inside. Let's get started. So first I am starting off with one jalapeno. I am going to dice this. This is something I am adding to the recipe because you guys know I love my spice. So I have to have a jalapeno. Next, we're gonna go in with one fourth of this white onion and dice this as well. I like to show you guys like the prep cleaning part. That way you can see like it doesn't take that much time to actually prep everything you need for the meals that you are going to be making. So next, we're going to chop up some cilantro. and we are going to shred some cheese. Now in her recipe, she does use Velveeta cheese as well as grated cheese, but I just rather make my cheese sauce. I don't know what it is about Velveeta, but I don't really care for it. Like if you know how to make cheese sauce, homemade cheese sauce is always better. So we have everything prepped. Next, I got my butter. Oops. Next, I got my water boiling for our pasta. It does say cook it between 10 to 12 minutes, but again, you will always want to over salt your water and under cook your pasta. So I did only cook that for about eight to nine minutes. Next, I put my ground beef in the pan, got that browning up. Then I added one teaspoon of minced garlic, as well as my jalapeno and my onion. You just wanna cook that all together until the beef is completely brown. This recipe does taste just like the rosehill dip that I showed you guys, just with pasta. Um, really good, really, really good. If you guys haven't tried this recipe, I do suggest to do so because it is really good. So I did add the can of Rotel, and then I went in with half a cup of pasta water. And you guys see my baby Benny? That is my new puppy. I know he doesn't look like one. He's about nine, 10 months. But in my old house, I had a door to block off the dogs. This one, they just roam around free. Next, you wanna go in with onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, and give that a mix. Again, with your seasoning, start off with half a teaspoon and just taste as you go to adjust the seasoning to your, to your liking. Next, we are gonna go in with paprika sasun. Now that, I, I just added it. That's not something she put in her recipe. Remember, every recipe, go ahead and make it your own. Even with this one, if you felt like there was something missing, go ahead and add it. And to me, I just need a little more kick, so I have to add some Slap Your Mama. Next, we're gonna start with our cheese sauce. So I did add two teaspoons of unsalted butter to the pan, and I'm gonna go in with some heavy cream. And if you don't have heavy cream, just go ahead and use milk. I am gonna add about half a cup of milk here. If you don't have heavy cream, go ahead to add two to three cups of milk. Next, we're gonna go in with our shredded cheese. And again, if you have Velveeta, this is a time that you do wanna add that as well. Or if you're just gonna copy exactly how I did it, just grate your cheese and you can add any cheese that you like. Mm -hmm. 
Once that comes up to a simmer, I'm going to add black pepper and one four teaspoon of pink salt. Give that a good mix. Once that is about halfway done, go ahead and add your meat mixture back into the sauce. Give that a good mix and then go ahead and add your pasta. So the pasta will finish cooking in our sauce. So if you feel like it's still a little bit hard, it will finish cooking at this time. Just go ahead and mix that all together. Once that is combined, you wanna go in with your cilantro. and give that one more toss. So for, you wanna cook this all together for about three minutes. And remember, taste and adjust the seasonings to your liking. That is so good. Oh my goodness, now that is all done. I'm just gonna show you guys what I place on top for toppings. So some extra cheese, some more cilantro, sour cream, and salsa. Again, this is just to make it look pretty and it did add like more flavor, which was really good. So I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content and hit the bell notification down below so you can be notified for the next video. And for more tasty recipes, go ahead and hit the playlist at the end.